guys, so today's video is going to be on how to give and receive a good nursing report. Report is a very important part of being a nurse in the communication about your patients to the oncoming shift. Um, there's many times that I have gotten report from other nurses and it's either set me up for a successful shift or it's kind of inhibited and been a barrier to the start of my shifts. There's certain nurses that like you know when you get report from them that you're gonna get a solid report and there's certain nurses you're like oh, I have to get a report from them it's gonna take so much longer it's gonna be unorganized you know you know the drill. So a little uh, funny story before we get into these details is I actually had a nurse one time I was getting a report from them and I asked this nurse because she was you know just being very disorganized and you're telling me all these random facts we were in the patient's room doing bedside report and so finally I said okay so what what is this patient here for what is their admitting diagnosis and the nurse said oh you know like some breathing stuff he's having a hard time breathing and I was like whoa yeah. <laughs> because there are so many reasons you could be having a hard time breathing you know is it CHF are you having do you have COPD do you have pneumonia do you have the flu do you have asthma like there's so many different things that can cause difficulty breathing and the treatment plans for all of them are very very different and unique so that was more so when I first started as a nurse you know within my first couple of months and like that one situation stuck out to me and I was like I am never going to give a report like that because it was just so disorganized and just very unprofessional, especially being in the patient's room. So my first first tip about giving and when receiving report, I guess this is more forgiving, is be organized. Go in an orderly fashion. You know, don't start by with your assessment and then tell the nurse why the patient's there. It needs to be concise and efficient. And that's what and that's another you know tip for like if you're receiving a report, you want to write down your report in an organized manner. Have a brain sheet or a report sheet or whatever method you use and stick with that because the more you use your own sheet, the more organized you're going to be and it's going to be more concise. You're going to know exactly where you put information and exactly where to find it. And it's just going to make your life easier to give report and when you're receiving report to know where to write that down. The next tip is to stick with the facts. It's hard sometimes as nurses, we like to get off on tangents and tell stories about the patient's day. And some of that stuff is relevant. Some of that, those stories are important. Like if you had a family member who was very... Um, emotional or disrespectful or something and you know the next nurse is going to have to deal with this family member you want to give them a heads up and maybe give them a little background information but you don't need to give this your story about how you know this room all of a sudden their IV stopped working and then in this room this patient was calling me and then this patient fell and blah blah, blah and so blah, blah blah like the oncoming nurse doesn't I don't want to say they don't care but I know personally when I come on as much as oh kitty tail. <laughs> kind of move. Oop, sorry. Okay, you can be in the video. As much as I, you know, enjoy hearing other nursing stories because I like to relate and talk about it, I, when I come onto my shift, I just want the facts. I just want to know why my patients here, their assessment, any meds, changes, labs, things they've had done, diagnostic imaging, things like that. Honestly, a good report should only take about five minutes, depending on the department you're in. I know for med surge, it should only take about five minutes per patient. If you're in the ICU, you obviously have a little bit more, I'm not a little bit, a lot of bit more of information and you need to um, discuss and that's why you don't have as high of patient ratios in the ICU because they're more critical. You're gonna have more information. But a good report should only take a couple minutes. So basically, my only tips are stay organized and stick with the facts. Same thing for receiving, when you're receiving a report, have that good report sheet that you use and stay with it, be consistent. I'm going to leave a link down below to a video of me actually giving report. In this video, it's gonna be kind of a sample report for you guys to hear and follow along to see kind of what I do for report. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time.